Hi everyone, Ian here at Abel Cine in Burbank, and today we're taking a look at the TV Logic XVM 175W monitor. This is a native 1920 by 1080 resolution monitor with 10-bit color depth. It has a tremendous amount of features built into it, uh, but let's talk about first of all the XVM designation for this monitor. Being an XVM member of the TV Logic family means that it is a evaluation grade monitor. So what does that mean? It means that we can use this monitor to set looks on set. And this is increasingly more important as we get more and more large sensor camcorders on the market that have some type of log recording capability built in so that we need to be able to create LUTs or lookup tables on set and to take that information from set into our post-production environment. And to that end, this uh, monitor has a couple of ways of working with LUTs. You can, with a software program from TG TV Logic, uh, move LUTs directly and apply them. Essentially what happens is it uh, Saves the saving or saves the settings of the monitor as it is. It then imports your LUT and then rewrites the original uh, settings back into the monitor. There is a uh, accessory probe that you can purchase for this with a program that will calibrate the monitor. And calibration is really the critical uh, key here because that is setting the proper levels on this monitor so that when you set your look on the monitor, that information can be accurately sent on to uh, the post-production folks who have calibrated monitors at their bays. We can also uh, import LUTs onto this through a uh, third-party device such as uh, HD Lake Pro using various uh, color grading programs as well. There are numerous inputs on the back of this monitor, everything you would expect to see. So we have two uh, HDSDI inputs, we have HDMI, and we also have inputs for analog as well. The monitor will also uh, input RGB 444. So tremendous amount of different color spaces and different uh, signals that we can input and evaluate. Let's go over to the front of the monitor and take a look at some of the feature sets. As I had mentioned earlier, there are a tremendous amount of different uh, choices and uh, ways to navigate through the systems. It's a very feature-rich monitor. I'm just going to touch on some of the uh, main ones very quickly here. On our side panel here, all the uh, access we would need to get into different menus. We have a main menu button here and then a jog wheel that takes us through all of our uh, different preferences. But Really, the way that you're going to work with this monitor is through here. There are five function buttons on the monitor. Uh, there are 16 different functions per program button on here. So again, very feature rich and allows you to navigate quickly and easily through all your different ones. So for instance, on function one, I've set up my waveform. As I toggle through, I have waveform, vector, uh, my various uh, parades of, uh, of waveform and then waveform vector. Uh, and then more choices. So very feature rich. I can get just a luminance value on the bottom here. Uh, and then I can go through and choose my different aspect ratios. And at the top here, very interesting, as I had mentioned earlier, we can do a RGB 444 signal into here, or we could feed two discrete uh, HDSTIs. And that's what I've done on this monitor. I actually have two cameras feeding HDSDI into the A and B port. And when you do that, we have a picture in picture button right here. And very quickly brings us up picture uh, A and B. So I'm actually looking at two different cameras at the same time here. So very handy, uh, especially for video village work. Down at the bottom here, uh, USB port for uh, updating uh, firmwares. Let's take a look at the back real quick. All right, taking a look at the back of the monitor here, uh, just a brief run rundown on connectors. We have the RS-232. Again, this is a communication link that we would use for our LUTs in and out. We have a component, HDMI, DVI, as well as HDSDI in and out loop-throughs uh, on A and B. And 
powering, we can do a 110 or you can do a four pin XLR uh, 12 volt DC power. In terms of mounting this uh, monitor right now, it has this table stand. We can put a VESA mount on it for a stage pin and it also has taps on the side so we could put ears on it for a rack mount. And that's our look at the TV Logic XVM 175W evaluation grade monitor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.